Hi, fellow musicians and music lovers. To my left is Sandy, a.k.a. Sandra D. <laughs> I am Sean. We are, we comprise the duo, the Shectones, and we are part of the musical collective Sacred and Secular, and this is another episode of Under Consideration, which, if you're new to the show, it's a laid-back kind of stream-of-consciousness show where we discuss music-related stuff that we're taking under consideration and or we think you should take under consideration. So the issue or the item that we think you should take under consideration and we're taking under consideration is The Boxer, written by Paul Simon, recorded by Simon and Garfunkel before he and our Garfunkel got mad at each other and had a big tift and split up. Um, I want to say it came out in 1968, um, and it's it's a tune that in some of our jam sessions, Sandy and I have we've we played through it and and sung it. When did you become familiar with it? Oh, Sandy? I heard it in high school. In fact, when um, our English class had a section of the semester uh, where we studied poetry as uh, it related to Simon and Garfunkel uh, we uh, it was it was a good course in English yeah yeah and it's interesting that you say that because I remember in my freshman lit uh, in a freshman lit book in well I started to say in college but actually I think there was a high school lit book that uh Maybe it was college. I don't know. That was a long time <laughs> it's ago. Been a, it's been a day or two. As yes, they it's say. been a day or two, as yeah. they say. But anyway, either in high school or college, there was, uh, I think there was a, a poem or, or, or song lyrics that uh, Paul Simon had, had written called, I want to say Richard Kirby, which was actually based on an existing poem. I remember seeing that. And back, back in the 70s and 80s, Paul Simon would would pop up in in lit books because because his his lyrics lean toward the poetic, um, for example, and and he was obviously someone who studied right. poets because of the idea of the no man is an island, mm -hmm. and there was a song of I am a rock, rock. yes, I am an island, and that is also Paul Simon. So. Yes. I think he had great depth in his lyrics. Yes, and and if if you look at something like the Dangling Conversation, he he refers to poets. Uh, Emily Dickinson gets mentioned in there. Robert Frost gets name dropped <laughs> in there. So yeah, he was he was a guy who 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 studied obviously poets who've become classics and and everything. And and to me, the boxer is one of his classics. I I got familiar with it when I was in high school too. It was um, I actually remember I, I think I'd heard snippets of it on television back in the late seventies, early eighties when they did it was either KTEL Records or one right. of those mail right. order records. Right. And, and and it had a little snippet of the boxer. And I happened to be visiting one of my brothers and his then wife, and they had the best of Simon Garfunkel on cassette, and I got to hear the whole thing. And it it is a great it is a great tune. That is the one song I first learned in college, uh, finger picking. I had not attempted finger picking uh and uh, I had a friend uh, who did such actions, and I was just amazed at it. And I couldn't do a little bit now, but it's just so much action that my hands get tired. So I that's why I went back to flat picking, and I have learned to do what I can with flat pick. And it's is is it a difficult song to flat pick or finger pick? He asked the guitar player. He asked the guitar player. Actually, the finger picking wasn't bad, and it's not like a Simon, uh, Paul Simon finger picking pattern. It's it uh, is, 
is one that I just learned and that's how I do all my finger picking style and there's so many styles to that it's just kind of hard when I was talking to my sister and she says well how do you do your pick hand the strum I go strum the way you want hmm. that's the that's the least important that I am not I am not a firm believer in a um, rigid pattern of strum pick whatever it's you will find something that makes you very happy to do and do it you know yeah and and the nice thing for any of you musicians out there um who are or specifically guitar players it's it's a good song um a good finger picking song that also includes some strumming in it too there are, uh, there are runs that you can do that are typical kind of runs in a flat pick uh, type of thing. Uh, even the break is a, a very good flat pick uh, way to do it. Learning how to do it with a finger pick and now doing it with a flat pick, um, it's much easier for me to do the song. So, so yes, we, we would encourage you guitar players to, to for sure give it a try. And it's also one of those songs that's that's good for uh, for dynamics because essentially the verses tend to be uh, have have a softer attack uh, with the guitar and also with the vocal, and then it's got the big boom the 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 lily chorus and and everything, and other instruments will work well with it. When when we've played it, I've programmed my keyboard as uh, as a mosaic which is a, a French type of uh, type of accordion that sounds well. If you listen to the original recording, which I recommend that you do, yes, it's it's got, if memory serves, a, a French horn for one of the breaks. It also includes a bass harmonica. And it's it's just got some nice little sonic touches that enhance the story of someone who, we don't know exactly where he's from, but he's come to New York City, and it's kicked him around, and he's thinking of leaving and going back home. And it's just, it's it's just a beautiful epic story, or, or just a beautiful story of, of about a guy who finds out how rough life in the big city can be, <laughs> and longs for the the comforts of the way things used to be. So we are in a rural area. Yes, life ain't none too easy here either. That's but that's true. It's much easier here than it would be in a city. Yes, yes. At, at least in some ways, it's easier here yes. than in the city. And yes, with with that in mind, we will give a shout out to Ray County, which is where we're recording this, and uh, and specifically Millville, where we're recording this. So we're going to leave you with that. Uh, so folks to, who are who are listening or watching in Ray County and Millville, we appreciate you. And if you're outside of Ray County, come visit us sometime. We'd appreciate that. So take it under consideration to listen to and or try to play the boxer, sing it, and take care, stay safe, and peace. Till then. Till then.